Hey y'all, today I'm gonna show you how to make a thaumatrope. And what a thaumatrope is, it's a mechanical device that creates an optical illusion that tricks your eye and your brain into seeing something that isn't really there. Uh, I'm gonna assume that you've all seen cartoons before, and uh, a cartoon is is animation. And the way animation works is just kinda like how a, how a thaumatrope works. All right, so during a cartoon, you're not really seeing movement. What you're seeing is a bunch of still pictures, all right, that are run together back to back really fast, and it creates the illusion of movement. But since it's moving so fast, you can't tell that you're looking at still pictures, and it works just like a thaumatrope. So, hey, I'm gonna show you how to make one, and then I'm gonna explain to you why they work. To make a thaumatrope, you're going to need a few things. You'll need a stapler, a pair of scissors, a glue stick, a glue gun, a push pin or a thumbtack, a few pencils, some string, a piece of cardboard, some colored pencils, and you'll also need to print out a template of your thaumatrope, or you can just use a piece of blank paper and you can design your own. So when you're coming up with your design for your thaumoscope, um, you are, uh, you're welcome to, you can, you can design your own if you want, like I did here, um, or you can, hey, hey, hit up the internet and there are a bazillion different kind of a templates that you can, uh, you can uh, print out like these ones. You got the duck in the pond and the fish in the aquarium. And uh, if you want, you can give them some color, just like so. For the next part, what you want to do after you've glued the pieces together, and also make sure that they're opposite, you know, so this side is, you know, one side is upside down from the other, all right? And then you want to take, a, you can take a, a thumbtack or you can even use a nail and you want to put two holes on the side, all right? And so I initially just kind of shoved it in there and started kind of twisting around to make that hole big enough. And then eventually I just kind of, I stuck a pencil in there too, all right, to really get that hole nice and big, all right? And then what I want to do is I get, I get about uh, 24 inches of string here and I, well, I put it through the hole, all right? And then I want to tie it off, tie it off on one end and then I want to do the same thing with the other end. So stick the uh, string through the hole, then tie it off. And then you'll have this, all right? You'll have it all connected just like so. Another way that you can put together your thaumatrope is, uh, is with a stapler um, and, and a pencil, all right? Uh, and what you do is, is you can put, the, you put the, the two pieces together back to back. You don't have to, you don't have to make sure they're opposite this time. Um, and then I'm gonna staple around the edge um, of the cardboard here. And depending on your size, like this size right here, I just put, I put three staples just like so on each one just to make sure it's really nicely secure. All right, and then I'm gonna take the sharp end of my pencil and I'm gonna stick it between the two pieces of cardboard, just like this, all right? And then as a last little bit of uh, making sure it's nicely on there, uh, I'm gonna take two more staples right here at the bottom and I'm gonna staple those on. 
just like so. And now you're ready to have some fun with your thaumatrope. So how does a thaumatrope work? Well, a thaumatrope works because of what is called persistence of vision, all right? And persistence of vision is a trick of the human eye. And when light is used in a controlled and proper way, the eye remembers, the eye remembers an image it is seen for even just a split second. And if that image is replaced quickly enough with a slightly different image, well, that creates the optical illusion of either movement or two pictures that look like one. So hey, why don't we go and have some fun with our thaumatropes? Friends, hey, I hope you have fun making some thaumatropes out there. <laughs>